Hello again. I am trying to pick up where I left off. Unfortunately, it looks like my internet in the last and the first stream uh, was not going well and there was blurriness issues. So I'm leaving this pack here and waiting for people to file into the chat. Uh, again, I severely apologize. I did not... Uh, I did not expect for that to happen. Um, I've been doing streams for a little while and uh, I've had no internet problems. It is windy out and it is rainy out. So that could be it. Unfortunately, it looks like the wind and the, the rain may have caused the problem. Let's, uh, okay, it's clear. Okay, that makes me feel really good because as you know, we have like 50 or so packs left and I want you guys to be able to see. So I will pick up, uh, Man, I'll tell you, the, the whatever the glue they used in this 1990 pack is something It is brutal. Anyway, let's get back to it. I'm going to say it again because we started the stream over again. We're one pack away from greatness, and let's pull some fire. Looks like Brandon is the only one in here at the moment. Oh, my God, I forgot the 1990 was these super ugly, super ugly red cards. Um, this is a Carl Yostremski. I'll just go over briefly what we did pull. Um, we have a Pat Mahomes rookie for the Twins, Jim Tomey for the Indians. We've got the Sosa card and this Matsui rookie for uh, – those are the big ones so far. There we go. we got got uh, Luis Aquino. Look at the terrible cuts. Terrible. Um, Nick Saski, Barry Larkin. Got a Diamond Kings of Kevin Mitchell, a Scott Scudder, Jim Acker. Anyway, I do apologize for having to restart a stream. But you know what? If you guys can see better, it makes it completely worthwhile. Um, I'm sorry for just scooting through this 1990 pack, but um, let's be honest. It probably wasn't going to be any good. There could be something good in this pack because this is 89 Bowman. Whoever has the Mariners in this break, this is a big shot to uh, possibly get a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. There is also a 31-year-old piece of gum, which will be going in the trash. Um, I'm not one of those people on the internet. Who's going to eat the 31-year-old gum? we got a Richie Ashburn. Uh, Danny Turtable. A Brad Duvall. Devon White. A Jimmy Jones. A John Smoltz. Brett Saberhagen. Is this Todd Sotomayor? Yes, it is. It is Pete and Cavillia. A Corey Snyder. Sorry for having to flip them all over, but I don't know all the names. Robbie Thompson. Dennis Rasmussen and a Rob Dibble. So we did not get the the big uh, Griffey in that pack. We're going to go to 2008 Upper Deck Baseball Heroes. Anyway, like I said uh, in the the intro for the second stream, um, it's really really windy here, and uh, it's also raining. And so, unfortunately, I didn't realize it was going to be that bad. But Carl Crawford got you, Travis. Hefner. Okay. We have a Felix Hernandez. Ooh, we got a, looks like a, I'm not, I'm not sure it's the parallel, but it's a different color. So I'll sleep it up. Scott Rowland um, playing for the Toronto Blue Jays. I don't remember Scott Rowland ever playing for the Toronto Blue Jays, but apparently he did. And I'm a fool for not knowing that. Okay. Felix Hernandez and a Jeff Francis. So there's your baseball heroes. Um, I just have a bunch of packs here. So we'll go to this one's 94 collector's choice. I believe this is the A-Rod rookie year. Oh my God. Look how, look how good that pack opened. That makes me feel good. I love it. So it's, it's a little things in life. So we have a John Olerud, Trevor Hoffman. We've got cards just flipped 800 different directions. Mark Clark, Alex Fernandez, Hey, who had a, got some sticking? We have a Ron Gant. That can't be a real autograph, can it? It's, it's got to be like a. It's got to be like a facsimile insert autograph, right? I'll save it up anyway. But does anyone know? Um, it certainly looks like a facsimile autograph to me. Um, or Horschelizer. Two Jeff Bagwells in a row. One insert, one not. Another Barry Larkin. It's a lot of Larkin for one pack. We have a 
John Wetland, who went on to pitch for the New York Yankees after leaving my team, Bobby Hamlin, and a Barry Bonds insert card. Yeah, okay. I figured it was a facsimile. We couldn't get that lucky and just pull like a random uh, autograph from like a 94 pack. So here we go. Denny's 1995 holograms. I know. Denny's used to do holograms apparently every year. Here's the upper deck ones. They also did pinnacle ones. So as you can see here, got a Brett Saberhagen. Unfortunately, holograms. Is there only one card in that pack? Are you serious? Anyway, there's a Brett Saberhagen. Um, I didn't realize there's only like one card in there. That's crazy. Um, well, these are going to be quick packs to open. There's one card and a spacer. There's a uh, Andres Galarraga. Unfortunately, uh, uh, unfortunately, holograms are really tough to show up on camera. JR Sports Cards, thank you for showing up. Let me go through the rundown again. We have Don't Talk to Robots. We have Luke Diamond, S. Ambush, JR Sports Cards. Um, we also have Brandon Jensen, a couple others. If you guys have channels, feel free to link them in the comments section. And... Uh, Go subscribe to each other and help each other get to a thousand. Um, amazingly enough, with all, all the stuff going on, I almost felt like there was an earthquake. I know I live in earthquake country in California, and so I thought, is there, there going to be an earthquake? Is this going to be one of those crazy streams? There's a Jason Berry, one of those streams where there's like an earthquake. Where you guys get to experience it from the other side of uh, the country, but it is not. Maybe I'm just crazy. This one is an expo, and it is a Moises Alu. Uh, I gotta say, I don't know if it's because it's 1995, but whatever they used to make the holograms uh, are not very holographic anymore. There's been some fading. Been a lot of fading. When you when you guys, uh, if I pull one for your team, you'll see it up close. Um, you can barely see it. There's a, there's some severe fading. Let me just finish with these uh, three hologram packs. I thought they'd be more exciting. But you know what? Sometimes you buy something online. And, you know, you get bulk discount. And you're like, eh, maybe it's not great, but it didn't cost that much money. So, you know, it's not much. Um... Anyway, there's a Greg Maddox. I will say the 90 Upper Deck, when they did holograms there, they're, they still they still hold up because they opened a box of 90 Upper Deck. I know it's super stimulating conversation. They opened a box of, uh, of 90 Upper Deck. But, uh, yeah, the holograms are still a lot more functional. Um, I don't know. I don't know how you, how you make holograms for cards. But whatever. We'll be done with the Denny stuff in a minute. We'll go on. I got a 2019 pack. I can, I can jump back and forth between current and older. There's a Mark McGuire. Still playing on the A's at that time. Forgot what year he jumped over to the Cardinals. It was in the late 90s, though. If we had a baseball historian here, they could answer for me. Hey, John F. Thank you for joining us as well. And Albert Bell for the Indians. Let's go to 2019 Series 1. Looking for uh, Kyle Tucker. Looking for Ramon Thori. Oh, no. I'm sorry this is your first live break and I had to restart the stream. I do apologize. There's also sirens going on. Like, uh, apparently there's like a dumpster fire taking. No, not like a, not like, like a legitimate dumpster fire, but uh, anyway, Ronaldo Lopez, Cody Allen, Scooter Gunnett. We have a James Paxton. John Gray, a AL West Studs, Kyle Baraclo, Paul Blackburn, Sir Anthony Dominguez, and a Starling Marte. Wow, big old trombone, big old trombone music on that one. Holy smokes, that was garbage. That was like hot garbage. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That was terrible. Okay, so we have 1986. 1986 tops. This is the oldest. This is the oldest pack that you're going to be seeing. Um, I believe this is the low series, and most of the mega rookies are in the traded series. But there is Cecil Fielder, Lenny Dykstra, and um, I think it's Roger McDowell in the uh, low series. You got a Tom Foley there. Oh, hello. There is. Let me just take it out right now. Hello. That is gross. This right here, kids. Like, not joking, Heart of the Rock. You could kill someone with that. Anyway, Tom Foley, Jim Dwyer. We have a Tim Tolman, 
a Jeff Burrows, Luis Sanchez, Urbano Lugo, Dennis Eckersley, when he was still playing for the Cubs, Kurt Wardle, Floyd Bannister, Mario Ramirez. Look at that shot looking off to the side. Tony Armas, a uh, Phil Necro, Scott Bradley, Jeff Reardon. Got a long expired spring fever baseball from 1986. Sammy Stewart. Got okay, cool Tim Raines. Whoever gets the Nationals there, uh, you're getting that Expos card. Dave Dravecki, Rick Ruschel, Carlton Fisk Pudge, uh, Mike Stenhouse, Rafael Santana, Steve Carlton. A lot of names I know. Rest in peace, Tommy Lasorda, Eddie Whitson, Bill Cottle, Herm Winningham, and Larry Sorensen. So that was a cool little, uh, cool little trip into 1986. We'll go right back into 2019. We got now. This now is the time to pull the Kyle, Tuck, the Kyle Tucker rookie, and uh, there it is, the Ramon Laureano. Huh? I know it's not a huge name. It's not like a Tatis rookie or anything, but for the Oakland Athletics, and then for the White Sox, following it up, we have a Michael Kopech. Let's see if uh, Kopech has a bounce back year. Um, he opted out. Of last year, but there's a Kopech rookie. We have a Chad Bettis, Urban Shantana. There's a Brandon Lau rookie for the Rays. So we got three rookies in one pack. That is cool. And we're not even done yet because we also have a Jed Yorko, and a Michael Taylor, and a Richard Blyer. Finishing things off with an Austin Hedges and a Hunter Strickland. So we did not get the uh, Kyle Tucker, but we got three rookies out of that single pack. Let's go to 2008 Upper Deck X. I believe it's Evan Longoria from the Rays is the uh, the big rookie for 2008 Upper Deck X. We have this cool looking Ken Griffey Jr. for the Reds. We got a die cut of Brandon Webb for the Diamondbacks. We got this. I think it's just an insert, but that's a really cool looking Manny Ramirez exponential outfield. That is a really cool looking shine to it. Look at that, huh? Uh, for the Yankees, we have a Yankee Stadium legacy. Frank Thomas. Does anyone remember Frank Thomas playing for the Oakland? For the A's, no. Upper deck X. We got uh, Matt Kemp. Hideki Matsui, there it is. There's the big, not only just the rookie card, there it is, a die-cut rookie. I, I imagine the die-cut version is probably worth more. But whoever bought the Rays, you got yourself an Evan Longoria die-cut rookie. So I imagine that's worth something. I haven't looked it up really. Aramis Ramirez, exponential, red Jersey card. We know. Uh, I've been saving. Uh, thank you for joining us, Loofers Sports Cards. Ryan Zimmerman for the Nationals and Josh Beckett. I have been um, saving the 2020 packs. They're going to be toward the end. So um, anyway, uh, look for everyone who's joining. Let me just go through what we got so far. Um, nothing, nothing monster, but we do have a uh, Evan Longoria die cut rookie. We have a Brandon Lau rookie, Michael Kopech rookie, Ramon Laureano. You got this facsimile, Ron Gant. Got this uh, Scott Rowland, Sammy Sosa die cut, Jim Tomey rookie, Pat Mahomes rookie, and uh, Kazuo Matsui. That's what we got so far. And then uh, let's see what we let's see what we got coming up. Hopefully a bunch more. We haven't opened a single 2020 pack, pack yet, so that could be where the magic is. We're kind of like jumping around 1986 to 2003-ish. This is a first-year card of Willie Iyer, a Dustin McGowan, a Tyler Martin, Jose Morales, Derek Michaels. Stop me if you've heard of any of those people. Jose Guillen. I know Jose Guillen. Um, Luke Steilmeyer, John Vanderwall, and that is numbered out of 2003. A, uh, is that a really – are you serious? Is this a thick checklist? Um, a thick checklist. Okay. And then a chrome – Greg Vaughn and a Rajai Davis. Okay. Well, I got, apparently I got excited about the, uh, about the Evan Longoria 
because S. Ambush has informed me that one sold for a dollar with free shipping. So apparently the market for Evan Longoria is uh, not exactly heating up. You're not going to be grading that bad boy and looking for a 10. But anyway, if you bought the raise, though, I'm sure you're happy to have it. You never know. So this is a prospect set. Charleston River Dogs, Mitch Hillegoss, a Will Klein. Whoa, hello. No way. It is an Anthony Rizzo Pro Debrew prospect card for the Boston Red Sox. Now, I know he was with the Padres briefly before going to the Cubs. I don't remember him with the Red Sox, but there you go. Like Anthony Rizzo prospect card from 2007. So whoever has the Red Sox, I do have, I know I keep saying whoever has it, but like I have my list back here. I don't have to keep referring to it. If you have the Red Sox, you know it. But yeah, I bet you thought whoever bought the Red Sox today didn't, or yesterday, didn't think I'm going to get an Anthony Rizzo Red Sox card from 2007. Uh, I, I did not think that, but anyway, that's super cool. I'm not sure if the prospect card is worth a bunch of money, but you never know. I mean, it can't hurt to have a Rizzo. Yeah, so here, 2019 Heritage, we've got home run leaders, got a Bellinger, Devers, Rookie O'Hearn, Trevor Bauer. Who is he going to play with next year? He seems to be toying around with about 10 different teams. So nothing huge in that heritage pack. But we got a second heritage pack. So maybe we'll redeem. Hey, maybe we'll get like those really hard to get, almost impossible to get autographs out of heritage. Like I've seen people buying hobby boxes for like 100 bucks of heritage, and you get one of those relics that's worth like three bucks. And I feel bad. I always want to play the sad trombone music for them. Because if I spent a hundred bucks, there's a Verlander. If I spent a hundred bucks on a hobby box and I just got a lousy relic, I would be super, super. Oh, let me see. Uh, let me go back to that power. You guys can figure it out for me. Her this is one of the reasons I don't particularly love heritage. I, uh, there's like so many different tweaks. Yep. 412. So Indians, whoever has the Indians in this break, you are getting that cool. Trevor. Bauer. We have um thank you, Lufer Sports Cards or Luffer Sports Cards for pointing that out. These were I think I think cereal pack. I think there's only two cards in this pack, but from post cereal, and it is from 2002. Again, I bought these in a lot for very, very cheap. And so I thought, why not? It'd be fun. So there is a Todd Helton and a Jason Giambi. I gotta be honest, if they went with this design for a flagship, I would not be I would not be opposed to that design even though it was designed for, uh, for a cereal box part. But uh, we're going to take a trip back and chew. We got, we got some older stuff here. So let's, get, let's blow through some of these older packs. Um, and let's, go through, let's go with the score first because the score is like super. 1990 score. One thing I like about the score is the packs are just super easy to open. They never give you any problems. We have a Todd Burns, Ken Caminiti, Todd Phillips, a Storm Davis, Dave Bergman, Scott Geralts, a uh, thingy, Eddie Zosky for the uh, Blue Jays. I'm sure anyone who bought into the Blue Jays today was thinking, man, I want an Eddie Zosky from 1990 score. Okay, I will not uh, belabor. The, the super old stuff for terribly long. Cause I know that no one's, unless I get something monster 89. Okay. 89 Donruss could be Ken Griffey jr. So this could be one of, this could be a big pack. Could be a big pack. Got a puzzle piece. Who doesn't love a good puzzle piece? So Darnell Coles, Pat Borders, Steve Lombardozzi, Vince Coleman, Dwayne Ward, Randy Bush, Clark, come on, come on, Griffey, come on, buddy. No Griffey in that pack, but we still have a couple more of these Donrish packs. This one's 88, though. Oh, well, we don't have any more. Got 88, though. There's big rookies in 88, too. There's more puzzles. Who doesn't like puzzles? That goes to the Cardinals. You get a you get one piece of the puzzle for the Cardinals. Pat Basillo, Jamie Quirk, Willie Upshaw, Billy Hatcher, Rick Roden. 
Got a rookie of Jack McDowell, Kevin Elster. And is that going to be it for the rookies? Yep, that's it for the rookies in that pack. So not, not great. I'll, these old packs, I know they're super cheap, but, you know, I mean, oh, it's Griffey Sr. It's Griffey Sr. Sorry, I spoiled it, but there's that puzzle piece again. Uh, got a Carl Nichols, a Tim Raines, Mackie Sasser, Rick Sutcliffe. Uh, I'm not going to go through one by one all the older cards because I know you guys have those kind of as a – there's Ken Griffey playing for the uh, – Ken Griffey Sr. playing for the Braves. Hints and sports cards, thank you for joining us. We're jumping around years here. Uh, again, we got a whole bunch of people in here. We got 10 people, it says. Feel free to go and subscribe to each other. Got a, another St. Louis puzzle piece. Kurt Man wearing for the San Francisco Giants. Willie Hernandez with dorky glasses. Jack Clark. Jim Gatt. Dave Anderson. Man. <sighs> Gotta be honest, these older packs. Some of these older packs are just brutal. They're just brutal. Okay, we're gonna go 1986. We're gonna get rid of, we're gonna clear out the 80s packs. Um, come on. It would be nice if we pulled something good from one of these 80s packs, because then it would just make me feel better. Because you know what? I'm, I'm rooting for all you guys. You know what? You paid money, you bought it into the break, and I want you guys to end up with cool stuff. I mean, I did come up with those cool, like, guaranteed packages, so, like, everyone's going to get something. Um, but I want you guys to get cool stuff. I mean, it makes, also, it makes it more fun for me. Like, I'm opening the packs. I don't want to, like... There's the 24-year-old gum. Sorry, 34-year-old gum. This gum... This gum is older than some of the people in the chat window right now. Anyway, David Green, a Rick Waits. Waits and see what's coming up. A Bill Lasky, a Tom Herm. Man, there's so much flipping around. Terry Francona. Uh, I don't remember him playing for the Expos. I do remember him winning the World Series, though, with the uh, Boston Red Sox. Mike Easler, Chris Brown. Not that Chris Brown. Ron Guidry, a Brett Saberhagen. Man, have you ever had to flip around more in one in one pack than this? I've had to flip around, I think, five or six times. Rest in peace, Frank Robinson, Dennis Rasmussen, Spring Fever. Anyone want to win World uh, Spring Fever, Spring Training in 1987? Dick Williams. Man, don't you miss the days when they just used to throw in the random um, the random manager cards? D. Van Gordon. Okay, that's it. I'm not flipping around anymore. I'm going to flip it this way. Dick Schofield, Tom Herr, the lost art of the bunt, Mark Bailey, Mike Hargrove. The one thing you got to remember with some of these old 80 sets is they were like 800 cards. And so you'll see, you'll see the, um, you'll see people talk about, oh, I got this rookie or I got this rookie. Um, and I'm like, yeah, but you know how hard it was? Even though it was Junk Wax era and they produced 8 million of them. You're still talking about like 800 card sets. Can you imagine if Tops um, made Series One of 2021 an 800 card set? There would be like flat revolt. Anyway, Al Bumbry, don't call him Bumbly. Got a bite of blue, a Bob, a bite of blue, a Bob James, Rick Aguilera. If you got a time machine, can you give me a winning lottery ticket? Because uh, someone just won like a billion dollars. And I'm not joking. Like a, a legit billion bucks. I mean, they got to pay taxes on that. But uh, hey, man, I wouldn't mind. I'll pay taxes on it. There's the piece of gum here. Um, I'll pay taxes on a billion bucks and still take home a huge amount. Let's completely derail the entire break with talking about winning the lottery. Look at that Robin Yount. He won a World Series in the 80s. Well, not just he. I mean, his team won it too. Wasn't just the Robin Yount Award. Barbara Garby, Charlie Moore, Chris Fire, Bob Brenly, Ron Juan Benitez, Harold Baines, a Pete Rose, Jack Morris, and Ed Romero. Thank you for nothing, 1986. Thank you for nothing, 1986. You did absolutely zero for us, and you should be ashamed of yourself. And I'll put you in the corner. 2001 tops. You should be ashamed of yourself. People are coming and watching this break, and you sit here and you waste our time. Your stupid guards. Anyway, 
Roger Sedano. Unfortunately, 2001 takes us to the year of sticking and breaking. Benji Yo. Got an Alberto Castillo. A Brian Jordan Stickaruski. A Rod, back when he still played for the Mariners. Back when he still played. Uh, Mike Redmond. A Michael Barrett. Come on, sticker loser. David Bell. Scott Carl. A Royce Clayton. There's a lot of sticking coming up. Jeffrey Hammonds. A uh, J.D. Drew. Don't remember him playing for the Cardinals. I remember him playing for the uh, Red Sox. Bruce Bochy. Terry Francona. Manager card for the Philadelphia Phillies. And then a League Leaders uh, Barry Bonds card. And then a checklist. 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 All right. Let's go 2012 archives. Archives 2012. So at least we're in, well, I was about to say we're in, the, in this decade, but we're not because we're in a new decade. Got a Mark Trumbo. An Ian Kennedy. Chris Young. Jared Weaver. And that is, I thought it'd be numbered because it's got like foil to it, but it's not numbered, but I'll sleeve it up anyway. Because I'm sure whoever got the Angels would appreciate me sleeving it up. It's got a cool look to it, though, doesn't it? That's pretty neat. I'll put it over there. Got a Mitch Wild Thing Williams. Billy Butler. A Mike Schmidt. And a Joe DiMaggio. Never hurts to have a Joe DiMaggio. So, next one. We're going back to the 90s. Question is, what year is it? I'm reading it. It's 1995. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you who 1995's um, the rookies were. Mike Stanley got an MVP of Jeff Bagwell, a Fred McGriff, Crime Dog, Dave Stewart. Looking, look at that shot, man. He looks like uh, he looks like he wants to attack the photographer there. Mike Perez. There's for the Chicago Cubs, a Sammy Sousa. I think I figured out the camera thing too. I think I have to pause um, and go a little bit slower flipping through them. And then the camera kind of adjusts to it. Anyway, thank you for bearing with me as, uh, as I'm going through this, you know, the growing pains of life. The growing pains of life. All right, next up we have, uh, hmm, we're gonna do, 2007 Fleer Ultra. The person who sent this to me attached a piece of cardboard to the back. So thank you for that. I'm not, although I'm not really sure. If I appreciate it, but. Got an A. Pierzynski. Got a Brandon Phillips. A Bill Hall. Chris Young. And a hitting machine of Freddie Sanchez. How many left? How many packs do we have left? Uh, here, let me show you. Because uh, I have them all off screen because I can't fit them up. So we have all these packs. And then we have all these packs. And then we have three hanger boxes. And then we have these packs. So. That is the full, that is the full break. Um, so <laughs> don't worry. If you're sitting there thinking, man, I, he hasn't pulled anything good for me yet. I'm like, oh no, there is, there are packs. I mean, I can't, obviously I can't tell you what's in the packs because um, I'm not psychic, but let me tell you, there are a lot of packs left and there's a lot of potential for some crazy stuff still. Um, Reggie Sanders, a lot of the, it's like I said, a lot of the stuff I bought kind of like in lots for pretty cheap because I thought, hey, it'll be fun. Um, and people might enjoy it. But yeah, there's there's some, there's some good potential still. Yeah. There's also good potential for sticking. Own the game, Mike Sweeney. Yeah, there will be a replay. Uh, actually, there'll be two replays uh, because the first stream had to end early. Jeff Nelson. An Ichiro. Oh, that's the second year Ichiro. That is the second year each. Oh, I got excited. See, the problem was you're jumping around packs. You, you like forget what year 
suit certain rookies are. But you know what? Second year Ichiro, you're getting slaved up anyway. Anyway, Ricky Henderson. I don't remember Ricky Henderson playing in 2002, much less for the San Diego Padres. Are you serious? Second year Jimmy Rollins for the Philadelphia Phillies. I'll sleeve it up. I got I got about 300 sleeves here, so I can start sleeving up. Jimmy Rollins for the Phillies. Um, got an Art Howe, still doing manager cards back then. Two manager cards in a row, because who doesn't get excited about two manager cards in a row? And a playoff bound, Arizona Diamondbacks. All right. That pack was not terribly great to us, but another 2002. There's also some sticking, as you know. As you can see, when I'm having trouble flipping through cards, it means they're sticking. Kevin Young. A Troy Percival. Alex Gonzalez. A Brad. Brad Penny. League leaders. Uh, enter the Rotunda promotion, which is long expired because that's from 2002. We have a John Flaherty. Jason in Isringhausen. A Dave Martinez, a Rick Helling, come on, a Ricky Gutierrez, J Bell. I will say that when you guys get your packages with all these cards, there's gonna be you're gonna be like, oh my god, I forgot there were I forgot there were this many years worth of cards in here, and you'd be right, you probably did forget how many years are worth of cards. So let's go to. 2007. It's honestly like a. This, this might be the most like randomly, I'd say randomly unique and diverse break that you might see as a group break. Ryan Howard, Derek Jeter, Ken Griffey Jr., Miguel Tejada, and a David Wright for your flashback pack. We got a couple more flashback packs. Uh, I bought some flashback football for my last break and not realizing that all the packs were exactly the same. And it is looking like flashback packs are all the same too. So if you bought any one of those five teams, you're about to get five of the same card. Um, anyway, that's just life sometimes. What are you going to do? I mean, if you got the Phillies, you're, you're going to get probably like three or four Ryan Howards and then Derek Jeter if you're the Yankees. And anyway, I can flip through those quickly because it's obvious that they're the same packs over and over. But I got to open them anyway because I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's an autograph possibility. I don't, I don't know. Let's just get through it quickly, though, because move on to the next thing. Ryan Howard, Derek Jeter. Do, do, do. There we go. There's that pack. So next we're going to move on to. Yeah, I pro sometimes I should do better research when I buy packs. And like try to research like, hey, maybe don't buy something that's the same pack. But then again, I don't think the set's five cards. I think the set's like 30 or something cards. Anyway, 2008, we have an Austin Kearns, Jabba, Chamberlain. I remember when he was going to be huge. Scott Harrison, Brian Giles, rookie card of Ramon Troncoso, rookie card of Matt Tolbert, rookie card of Philippe. A Paulino, rookie card of Harvey Garcia, a Grady Sizemore insert, Andy Pettit, a Ryan Therio for the Cubbies, and a Kyle Davies, and then uh, some random David Wright thing. Um, best poll so far, Rex. Um, I think it depends on who, on who bought what team. I think probably it's this Anthony Rizzo prospect card for the Red Sox. But I'm sure if you have another team and you want to chime in and tell me that your poll is better, um, I am going to do a recap at the end. We haven't pulled any autographs or relics yet, though, if that's what you're referring to. Got a Clint Hurdle manager card. Ryan Braun, rookie of the year. So that's the second year card of Ryan Braun for the Brewers. I will sleeve that up for the old Brew Crew. Man, that would have been a lot bigger if... Uh, Hey, Rob Hirsch. Thanks for joining us again. Every time I see new people, um, feel free in the chat to go through and subscribe to each other's channels so that everyone can get closer to this one is it's not numbered. Oh, there it is. It is number 2008. 
of Andy Sinensen. Anyway, go feel free to subscribe to each other's channels. I'd say half the people on the live stream have channels, and I'm sure no one's going to turn down. No one's going to say no. I don't want. I don't want subscribers. I have enough. I have enough. How dare you try to get me free subscribers? Um, no. Yeah, no one's going to say how dare you get me free subscribers. No. So uh, upper deck we have a Jimmy Rollins, future stars. So not rookie. Um, Lance Berkman, future stars. He was already in the league for like five years. How is okay? Henley Ramirez and a Ricky Weeks. Man, thanks upper deck for a four card pack. A four card pack. What is this? Tops Chrome? I mean, come on, come on, guys. Get your stuff together. Back to two thousand and eight. And if you're wondering, thanks, Jay Mix, for joining us, and Rob Hirsch, and everyone else. Um, if you're wondering, yes, the big stuff, the 2020 stuff, I am saving for last. We're kind of like meandering through the mid 2000s and the 90s. Lasting's Village, Clay Buckholt, rookie. That is the other big rookie of uh, 2008. The other one being Evan Longoria. So you may be thinking, Clay Buckholz, is that a big rookie worth saving? You know what, man? Like, I don't create the sets. This is what was available. Mark Teixeira. This uh, Brian Roberts, exponential, a long expired code. If someone wants to go log in the website and try to redeem this uh, 12-year-old code, feel free. And you know what? If you're able to redeem it for something, don't forget who sent you. Don't forget who sent you. No. Um, tell me, honestly, if you do go try to redeem it, let me know. And if you get something, that'd be like amazing. Upper deck will be like, we stopped making baseball cards 15 years ago. What are you trying to, what? we make hockey cards now. Giovanni Soto for the, uh, oh, there's a rookie card for the Cubs of Kosuke Fukudome. And it's a die cut version, which um, I imagine is rarer. I'm sorry. Like, I am not a baseball historian like some people are. And so there's a Josh Beckett, BJ Upton, and a Mark Teixeira. Um, a lot of this is new to me. I, I'm going to be honest. I was not collecting back then. So Topps Chrome 2001. I do recognize this. I think this is the Ichiro, Ichiro rookie year. And will we get an Ichiro? Raul Ibanez, a Mike Redman. I'm telling you, there is sticking in that, which is not good. A Mike Musina, who made the haul, I think. And a, who are you? Kevin Brown. So no Ichiro. But, you know, it's a four-pack card pack from 19 years ago. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're going to go 1996 style, collector's choice. That's right, you're thinking, this guy, this like, maniac included like a... Random pack from 1996? You bet, you bet I did. You bet I did. Is this a Ripken? This looks like a Ripken to me. And then it's followed up. It is a Ripken, but you know what? I can't neglect the Keith Lockhart. Nor the Harold Baines. This is backward. Rookie class of Todd Green. Back when they were going by the California Angels. Checklist of Frank Thomas. And you, my friend, are a checklist for the Minnesota Twins, and everything else is backwards. So we have a facsimile autograph of Tom Galavin. I don't have any Fleer Flare, Rob Hirsch. No, Fleer Flare actually costs money, man. Fleer Flare, I know we make fun of like mid '90s um, cards, but Flare, man, those it is it is expensive, man. It's like those those SP cards, like where the Derek Jeter is. Those, oh, by the way, we're going '92 Studio um, Flare. I think if you buy a box, it's like 70 bucks. That's a lot of buckarooskies, man. 70 bucks for a flare. We'll bring flare our own way. Derek Bell, Greg Olson, Jefferson, Dion Sanders, got a John Burkett, Jose Gushman, um, Brian Jordan. Yeah, if you look, if you go on the bay and you look up some of the old junk wax years and you're thinking, and you think to yourself without doing the research, like, um, hey, I, I can just get, I can pick it up for a, I could pick it up for a song. No, you have to sing a whole album. You're not picking anything up. No, uh, there's some, there's funny, there's some like 36 pack box you can still pick up for like 20 bucks, including shipping. And there's some that are like a hundred bucks or something. You're like, no. Anyway, Willie Banks Pinnacle has one of the ugliest, um, one of the ugliest designs. Look at that card. Pinnacle Shades of Tim Raines. 
Shades of Greatness. We got a David Justice. We got super bricking going on, like mega bricking. Uh, rookie prospect of Dave Silvestri. I uh, imagine he did not work out very well. Ooh, Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent for the Blue Jays rookie card. That's actually one of the. Um, that's actually one of the good pulls from from Pinnacle that year. Jeff Kent um, played for so many teams. He played for the Giants. He played for the Blue Jays. He played uh, for the Dodgers. All over the place. He was surly with the media, and so uh, people did not like him that much. But dude could play, man. Dude could play. Jeff King. By the way, if you're planning on grading some like whatever ninety one or ninety two pinnacle, good luck because uh, man, those borders are those borders are tough. That's like heritage of this year with the black borders. Here's a stadium club. Oh my goodness, this is hard to open. Thank you for nothing, stadium club. And you're gonna be bricked on top of it too. Like, are you gonna? You better not be. Look at that. Look at that photograph of Eckersley, man. That is the wind outside my window, in case you are wondering. If you're thinking, uh-oh, is this house going to fall down? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out live on the internet. Todd Sotomayor, Milt Kyler, Chili Davis. Let's hope not, because I want to open up these packs and uh, figure out what's in them. don't want my house falling down on me. Jeff Kunkel, Mark Portugal, Turner Ward, and Eric King. King of what? Um... I will go over everything at the end. Uh, I believe so. You can remind me in the uh, you can remind me in the comment section. The I think it's five teams you got, but yeah, uh, R, I'm talking to RJ ENG by the way in the chat. I I believe you've got a bunch of stuff. I got a whole stack. I can do a recap again, like a mid midway recap before we get to 2020. So this is a 2007 um, 2006 rookies. So uh, Hayden Penn. Dustin McGowan. By the way, anyone who's joining late, we got a make McKay McBride. Um, anyone who's joining late, I had to start a second stream. If you're watching now, it means this is a second stream. Basically, my internet was uh, garbage. It farted on me. People couldn't even look at the cards. And so there's about 22 minutes of me opening a number of packs at the beginning. And then I just stopped the stream and then started a new one. So if you go back, I will, I will email you guys if you need it. Um, got a Chris Duncan rookie card Joe Nelson rookie card not the names you're looking for in 2006 a Ryan Sheely also not the name you're looking for I don't have to but you know what I don't have to be mean and like say that's not who you're looking for because these poor guys they made the majors they made money I did not um, and let's be honest like if you're like who if you're shrugging if you're shrugging your shoulders on your end of the internet then I don't need to like rub it in that you're like who is this person who are they they couldn't even wash my jock strap. No, sorry. Uh, Matt Kemp, Corey Hart, got a Frank Thomas. He he laid the hurt. He laid the big hurt, actually. Paul Mahome, John Karanka. The one thing I'll give this set is we're getting a lot of rookies. Um, just not quite. Uh, I mean, it's it's pretty accurate to say not the names that uh that you're hoping for. I would say. Not the names that I'm hoping for for you guys. Chris Heinz, Chris DeMaria, Napoli and Kendrick, Paul McAnulty, Davis Romero, and a Reggie Willett. Um, <laughs> uh, Rob Hirsch with the awesome 80s. With the awesome 80s uh, pop culture references. You know what? This is what we'll do. I got my list here. I know it's super ghetto looking. I have it on the computer too, but so Ronald J has the Phillies, the Cardinals, the Tigers, the Blue Jays, and the Padres. So now we have the Tyler Johnson, Raja Davis. That's like the second Raja Davis rookie card. Tom Gorzolani, a second Paul Mahome, Zach Jackson, and another Frank Thomas. And the yeah, we have one more rookies pack, and then we got some we got some big packs leading up to uh, the 2020 stuff. Got a Joe England. I apologize for not knowing. Did these people play like one or two years in the majors? Wow, that was brutal. I'm gonna be honest. That was brutal. Um, I do remember Borzalan. But uh, oh we got you know what we do? We have a couple more packs of uh Cereal box cards, like let's be honest, who doesn't? Who didn't? 
to be honest, you bought into the break because you wanted to see 2002 cereal box cards. Huh? Huh? Here we go. Jason Giambi, Sean Green. Also, the cereal box cards are two cards per pack. But at least there's not like uh, random flakes or something on them. Got a Troy Gloss and a Richard Aurelia. I will say that for cereal box cards, though, they, they do have some cool graphic design going for them. Also, they rip really quickly. We got an A Rod, I mean, an A Rod cereal box cards. Um, and a Carlos Dell. Gatto. Anyway, two more packs of cereal box cards. And then we're going to move on to something a little bit bigger and a little more exciting. I mean, I know you guys are thinking, man, I want some breakfast here. Let's take the third Giambi. Got a chipper. Man, Adam's Card Mansion would love that chipper. He might, uh, he might come to your house and, and ask you for it. Sean Casey. Chipper. Okay, next up, we got 1999 Victory. Will we come out victorious? By the way, like I said, thanks everyone for joining. I know I've repeated myself, but the people keep joining in the stream. So um, thank you for joining. I really do appreciate it. I hope that I pull some much better cards toward the end of the break. I also uh, hope you hit the subscribe button. If you haven't, hit subscribe button on other people's channels. Larry Sutton, feel free to joke around in the chat section. Uh, Scott E. Larton, Vinny Castilla, Jarrett Wright, Willie Green. This is not much of a victory at the moment, I have to admit. Paul Canerco. Got a team checklist of the Marlins. Got a big play, Mark McGuire. Are we going to get a rookie in this pack? Come on. There it is. A rookie of Chad Hutchinson. I don't have the uh, 1999 checklist in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that Chad Hutchinson was not, uh, was not who we were looking to pull. Okay, 2009 updates and highlights. I believe Andrew McCutcheon, I believe, is the big chase in 09 update. Don't quote me on that or anything. So, uh, Seth Smith, Dwayne Wise, a Pence and Braun, Phil Hughes, Phil's polls, Phil Hughes. Look at that. Got a rookie card, gold of Brad Burgesson. So we did get a gold, but it was a Brad Burgesson. You want to play? And if anyone wants to play the uh, sad trombone music, you're welcome. There's a rookie card of Matt Laporta. We're gonna Laporta. Yeah. No. Anyway. Uh, anyway. So that that did not treat us terribly uh, well or terribly. Eh, whatever. Whatever you think. So uh, we got traded and rookies. 2003. Really going back there. Really going back there. So we got a Bobby Kielty. Greg Myers. Wes Helms. Alan Bennis. Ray Sanchez. Gary Matthews Jr. Aaron Fultz. A gold of Wes Helms. A checklist. Did someone say? Ch Let me just tell you something. 2003. Was there any need for this checklist to be quite this thick? It's like the size of a relic. A Royce Clayton and a Ryan Ludwig prospect card. Chrome. Um, I don't know why I'm sleeping it up, but you know what? I'll sleep it up anyway. I'm just sometimes you're just like I gotta sleep something up. It's been a while. It's been a long time. Gotta sleep something up. Things are getting bleak now. So we got a Gaudi. Gaudi from uh, it was 2008. If you've never seen Gaudi, it's like an old tobacco kind of throwback. Um, super cool design. And by the way, these boxes are are like ridiculously expensive because you can pull like some crazy autographs in them. And there's a Derek Jeter says on the back. There's like a whole thing. Anyway, you guys can read it when you guys get your version of the cards of it pulling for you. Hunter Pence, Pee Wee, Reese, Aaron, or Rowan. What is this? Uh, 20th anniversary hobby preview. What? Come on, man. It's like a, it's like a spacer card preview. Get out of here. Brad Penny, Jim Tomey, Chris Duncan, Miguel Cabrera. Oh, sorry. I'm not angry at you guys. I'm just angry at Upper Deck. Like, how dare you? Dare you? Anyway, so this is a... Uh, 2008 top updates and highlights. At least, at least the other spacers are just like plain white, 
And so you don't like start reading it and think it's like a, some booklet or something cool. You're like, no, no, it's an obvious spacer and, it, and it's wasting my time. I love in 2008 how they separately packaged the gum. <laughs> it's so good. Anyway, Greg Dabbs, Brandon Lyon. He ain't lying to you. Jerry Hairston, rookie card of Luis Men, Doza, Ramon Castro, Ernie Banks, a random Omar Infante, and a random Dwayne Wise. You'd be wise to avoid that pack because that pack did nothing good for us. <sighs> 2006 Tops Heritage. Is there, there it is, another packet. Another, by the way, don't even ask. I am not sending gum to anyone. I'm, I am here to promote your health, man. I want you to be sticking around. I want to see your content on your channels. I don't want you like dying of eating his old gum. So an Aaron Rowan, Jose Mesa, Morgan Ensberg, Josh Beckett, Craig Council, Marshall McDougal, Orlando Cabrera, and a Milton Bradley. So that heritage pack did not do us any favors. Good Lord. Come on, man. We're going to go to Bowman Heritage. There's gum in here. I can feel it. It is 2006, it looks like. Sorry, I apologize. I feel I feel so old. I'm only 40, but I'm reading like this like tiny, this tiny, tiny print on some of these old packs. And you're like, oh. Then there's odds on some of them. So I feel so old and 40. No, uh, Edgar Venturi. If you tried reading these packs too. Oh God, they don't even have the names on the front either. So Kyle Kendrick. Steven England, do us a favor, man. At least have the names. Oh, hello. What are you? You are a Khalil Green. And you look like you're a foily thing. You're some kind of foily thing. So there you go. And then uh, you are Melvin Mora. You are Carlos Zambrano. I know you're Carlos Zambrano. You are Matt Morris. And then a Houston Street. Ah, good Lord. Okay. We have a... 2009 tops 206. I know a bunch of people have bought the 206s this year. So we got a Cervelli rookie card. I am not going to pronounce that last name. I know what you're thinking. He's going to try to pronounce it. He is not going to try to pronounce it. This is a not a Joey Votto rookie. I feel like it should. No, it's 2009. There's a Soto mini. We have a Jorge Posada, and it must be special, something special with it, because it is uh, a different color. It may just be like a, a slightly different rookie, very, uh, not a rookie, not Posada's rookie. What am I talking about? But anyway, it is a Posada. And then a Hanson, Tommy Hanson rookie. And that's not what you're looking for. I apologize, Tommy Hanson, but that's not what we're look, looking for. I'm not going to apologize. And you know what? I'm going to apologize, but I'm not going to be no more of a bitch. Anyway, uh, Tops Heritage 2010, and then we are moving in firmly into the 2010s and then the 2020s. So if you have bared with me for over an hour and a half, first of all, thank you so much for dealing with my three ring circus and my clown show. But second of all, you're going to be rewarded because we're getting 2020 cards. Hello. Hello, come. Hello, my old friend. So we have a Javier Vasquez, Gavin Floyd, got a San Francisco Giants team card, a Mike Fontana. Ryan Zimmerman, Chase Utley, the thrill of the chase, Travis Hafner, and a Jared Washburn. So some of these like packs where we had a chance to hit some super cool, but you didn't. So these are 2003, 2003 Bowman Heritage. Let's do it, kids. Come on. Shannon Stewart, I think Verlander, he might be in this one. We'll see. Jimmy Pearsall. I had a list going at some point. I just can't find it because I'm stupid and lazy. I admit it. I Robert Fick. That's why I bought this pack. Robert Fick now. I bought the pack because of the Ricky Weeks um, Brewers insert. Cool. Uh, Mark Mulder, John Olerud, and an Omar is. I feel like I should just have like a trombone. Like off camera, 
come on, man. We got to pull like a, something cool, like a one on one, or like at least some really cool rookies at this 2020. 2020 owes us after this, man. A Lou Palmisano, a Jordan Pratt, an Eric Reed. There's something backwards here. We got a Jimmy Pearsall, Casey Abrams, Frank Catalanoto, Bubba Nelson, and Aaron Boone. I'm disgusted. How dare you? Here you keep wasting my time. All right. We're going to, I think it's 2014 genre. So we're looking for, I think it's Xander Bogarts. I believe it's the old Bogarts. Um, I got to admit, I'm glad that they don't make these value packs this way anymore because they are a pain to open. They are a pain to open. Um, not a fan of these value packs the way they are. Plus value packs, as you know, the corners can get like super damaged. Um, they can get super damaged. You get thrown around. See some of those distributors like putting them on the shelves and it's it can get brutal. Okay, so here it is. Got a Brian McCann, a Jose Fernandez, Salvador Perez, Willen Rosario, Matt Latosh, Avishel Garcia, Koji Ushura. There's a trout. It's not his rookie or anything, but there's a trout. Carlos Gomez, Austin Jackson, Carlos Santana, Michael Walker, Matt Cain. What do you got here? Got a Wu, Wei, Wei Chu, Chu Wang. Sorry, I apologize. Who oh, the, there it is, a cool one. Jose Abreu, rookie card. Jose Abreu, rookie card. He was not on my list, but yeah, there he is. And he is playing for Chicago. There you go, Jose Abreu. So, uh, Wade Miley, he's smiley. No, uh, Patrick Corbin, Matt Adams, Madison Baum Gardner, Francisco Liriano, Miguel Cabrera, Leonis Martin, Evan Longoria, Trevor Rosenthal, James Paxton, rookie card, Andrew Kashner, Jed Lowry, have a Joey Votto insert, a Jose Altuve random elite card. And a Chris Owings for Arizona Diamond Backs. Okay, so that brings us to the biggest, the biggest stuff. We have the update. We have this, just in case you're still here. We got this, and then we got three hanger boxes. So let's go in order. 2017. You're looking for Judge. You're looking for Bregman. You're looking for Ben and You're looking for Yoan Moncada in a Red Sox uniform. You're looking for autograph, relic, something cool. So, Brandon Finnegan, Brett Lowry, Matt Joyce, Chris Sale, Jared Eikhoff, Drew Pomerantz, Tyler Clipper, Jacoby Jones, rookie card, not the rookie card you're looking for, Tyler Flowers, Adam Wainwright. You know what I got to say? When people used to say on, on, on their break videos, not the rookie card you're looking for, I'd be like, that's so rude. And then I'm like, no, you know what? Let's be honest. It's not the rookie card you're looking for. It's not the one you're looking for. Charlie Blackman. We do have for the St. Louis Cardinals an Alex Reyes rookie card gold. I'm going to sleeve you up because you're a rookie card gold. Wait a minute. No. No, that can't be. Hold on. Am I? Is this is this freaking? Mm. Is that a facsimile? How dare you? <sighs> That's not a real autograph. It makes me just, it's not a real autograph. I just got excited. Like I thought, hey, hey, this is a Chris Bryant autograph. No, it's not. No, it's not. Anyway, Reggie Jackson inserts, Mark Trumbo. There's a Ken Griffey uh, iconic greatest memories, whatever. Is that is that the regular Chris Bryant or is that a short print? Anyone? Anyone? Can you help me with that one? Uh, Lorenzo Kane, Sonny Gray. Trevor Story, Steve Pierce, Jeremy Hellickson, Miami Marlins, Chris Young, Jared Weaver, Paolo Orlando, a Carlos Correa, Joaquin Benoit, Tyler Chatwood, Brian Goodwin, rookie card, Kyle Baraclau, and an Anibal Sanchez. So 
I gotta be honest, like in this break, I've only done one of those uh, 2017 packs. I have opened a bunch of them like by myself for my channel. Like I'm saying this like it's not broadcast on my channel. I haven't pulled any Aaron Judges. I haven't pulled any. So uh, 2018 Heritage High Number, looking for Juan Soto. And for Ronald Acuna Jr. Isn't, I think High Number isn't only like 200 cards or something. So we don't have a terrible chance. We have a pretty decent chance actually. Seung Juan O. Oh. Jurickson Profar. Victor Caratini for the Kabaruskis. A Mike Gerber for the Tigers. Alex Avila, David Boti for the Cubs. We're getting a lot of Cubs um, rookies, which is now what we're looking for. I mean, I know if you have the Cubs, you're looking for Cub rookies, but I am I am hunting for a Soto and an Acuna. Luis Valbuena, Hunter Strickland, Eduardo Nunez, Pedro Severino, Tony Singrani, and a Mark Connor. Let me see if I can turn up that light behind me because we're losing the light. I don't want to be losing the light just as we're getting into the 2020 stuff. Oh man, the rain is really, you don't want the, you don't need the commentary, but the rain is, is a coming. That is, that is my leather chair. That is not me. That is not my, my butt ducks, if you will. Anyway, how many times do you hear a, a breaker say that is not my butt Um 2019 update. You're looking for Hira, Kiboom, Senzel, Chavis, um, Vlad, Tatis rookie debut, um, not Junior Guerra. There's a Tommy Edmund for the. This is the second Tommy Edmund in two update fat packs that I pulled, and uh, there it is, Tommy Edmund for the St. Louis Cardinals. Just the regular rookie version, not like a gold or anything. Avisail Garcia, divisional foes, a Chris Paddock for the San Diego. Padres and following it is a Vlad Guerrero rookie card for the Blue Jays. I don't know why I keep telling you the team. I mean, you guys can rate it. You're not blind. You wouldn't be watching a, an online break um, if you were blind. There's a Vlad Guerrero. So here we go. The I gotta be honest. The first half of the break was uh, was not fantastic, but uh, we're making up for it now. Brandon Brennan rookie, Jose Iglesias. John Ryan Murphy, Yasmani Grandal, and a whole bunch of landscape cards. We got a uh, Renato Nunez, Luke Croy, Albers, Severino, Castillo, a Mark Cal Parker, and David McKay. Following it up with a Pudge Rodriguez for the Rangers. Oh, that's a cool poll. 150 years stamp. Rookie, that's two Edmund rookies, two two Tommy Edmund rookies in one fat pack, and this is 150 years stamp version. So whoever has the Cardinals, man, you're making out like a bandit all of a sudden. Bryce Harper, got a Ted Williams, Martin Maldonado, a Casale, an Arenado, Green. There's this, this is, oh man, this update pack is just amazing. So we've got a Vlad. We've got two admins, including a stamp. We've got a Senzel. Richie Martin. Mike Ford, rookie. A Nick Hunley. Contreras. Springer. Vogelback. Crawford. Tanner Rourke. See, we're heating up. We're heating up at the right time. That update pack was sweet. Let me see. We're losing the light. Let me see if I can close this, and maybe that'll help out the lighting situation. Yeah, I'm not sure if that made things better or worse. But anyway, we still have enough light. So we're going to 2019. Tops Chrome. Looking for Tatis, Eloy, Vlad, Alonzo. And we get a Brendan Rodgers. Rookie debut right off the top. But someone took the Rockies, and they are going to get their sleeved up Brendan Rodgers. Also, I gotta say, as it's getting darker outside, the uh, the, the chrome finish is shining more. Ooh, hello, hello, family business. Uh, Vlad, I don't know. I got I, I got excited like that was like an autograph or something, but it is not. It's just a family business insert. But still, it's a Vlad and it's a rookie. So there for the blue case. 
Um, trying to figure out how I can get more light. I mean, I'll have to open it again. I'm sorry. Keep it up. I just want you guys to have a better experience. Anyway. All right, moving on, we're going to do Bowman. Yeah, right, candle. I'll burn the holes. I'll burn this hangout to the ground. I'll burn it to the ground. Anyway, there you go. Bowman, obviously looking for Jason Dominguez. We're looking for Robert Puisson. We're looking for Bobby Wood Jr. Um, we are not looking for a random spacer at the back unless that spacer leads to an autograph. So we got a Chris Bryant. Cattell Marte, Sean Murphy, rookie card. Bruised our Gratterall. Got a used Neil Diaz. Is there something behind it? No, it's just a regular. It just happens to be really thick. Um, here's a Glenn Allen Hill Jr. for the Arizona Diamondbacks. First Bowman. Be nice if there was something cool to be chasing for for the uh, Diamondbacks at some point, wouldn't it? JJ Spacer. Get out of here, Spacer. Uh, JJ Bladey. Ooh, hello. I got to say, <laughs> I hate to be like calling out people, but uh, NW Stang, who has an awesome channel. He's bought like the Royals because he's a Royals fan and like two of my other previous breaks and I pulled a Bobby Wood. He didn't buy this time. Uh, someone else bought the Royals. I forgot who it is. I got, I got it on my list. Oh, Brandon. Brandon J bought it. And then Bob, and I pull a Bobby Wood Jr. for the third break in a row. Huh? How cool is that? Congratulations. There's your Bobby Wood Jr. We got a cool card here. I can see it. Look at that. It's a blue one. Ronaldo Hernandez. Julio Rodriguez. And for the Seattle Mariners, a Logan Gilbert bluish thing, and it is numbered out of 499. So who has, whoever has the Mariners, congratulations. There you go. Look at that cool card. So not an autograph, but I'll still take that any day of the week for my break people. Got a Clark Schmidt, a Grayson Rodriguez, Seth Beer, and a Brennan Davis. For the Cubbies, Toro, C. Valley, Dustin May, and a Trent Grisham for the San Diego Padres. Got to say, if you have not gotten a bunch of Trent Grisham rookie cards, it might, I'm not, I'm not, this is not professional, professional card advice, but you might want to get some Trent Grisham rookies because that dude is good at baseball. And like his cards are worth like almost nothing. Like I'm not joking. Like I don't know why they're worth almost nothing. I mean, I know the guy plays with Tatis, but still. Anyway, 2020, Walgreens, yellow parallels, looking for the Randy, a Rosa Reina, yellow. We are also looking for uh, the Trent Grisham, yellow. Bo Bichette, yellow. Um, Kyle Lewis, yellow. There, there's a Kyle Lewis, rookie debut right there. Rob Hirsch, Spacer was my nickname in high school. What, what was your nickname in college? Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Do the research. Go find Rob Hirsch's high school yearbook. See if it was uh, Rob Spacer Hirsch. I am going to do the world a favor and save up this Kyle Lewis rookie debut. Immediatemente for the Mariners. Congratulations. There is your... Uh... There you go. There's that. Let me... Oh, okay. I can't, I'm not going to hold like 65 cards at once. So you're going to go off to the side, my friend. And then you are going to be over here. Johnny Davis. D. Grum, a Nader, another Met. Yoan Lopez. There's a judge. You have been judged. There's a Ripken. A right. A right and wrong. Got a Robinson. Chirinos. True Butera. Senzatella, Owings, Martin, Deal. He knows how to deal. He knows how to deal. A random Mark McGuire card, Zach Cranky. That's what I love about Update. They just threw in, it's like, let's go back 20 years to like, to old, um, to old All-Star games. Like, why would we bother putting any good rookies other than like a, a Rosarena and Grisham, which already have a rookie in Series 1? Let's just, let's just throw, never mind. This is me complaining, but you know what? 2021 Series 1 comes out in about two-ish, two and a half weeks. And let me tell you, 
Oh man, it might be really good. I hope it's really good. Sean Poppin. I hope it's good. Fulmer. There it is for the Blue Jays. A Boba Shet rookie debut. So you know what? I bad mouthed. Um, I bad mouthed update, and we got a Kyle Lewis rookie debut and a Boba Shet rookie debut. We're not even close to being done with this yet. Got a Bregman. Higashoka. We're going with Higashoka. Riddle, another Granky. Got a Steven Sousa Jr. Yoshi Tutsutsugo, Kevin Pilar, Joe Jimenez, Trace Thompson, uh, another Thomas, a freeway victory, David Price, Greg Garcia, Josh Harrison, Jorge Lopez, Cameron Maven. There, oh man, what a what an update hanger box. I kind of threw this in there as kind of like an afterthought, but man, if you got the Rays, hello, hello, my old friend, hello. You got it in a Rosarina in a Rays uniform. Congratulations. So in one hanger box, I don't repeat myself, but we got a Boba Shet. We got a Debbie Gruyon. Um, got a Boba Shet. There's Ian Miller. Uh, I don't know if I should be excited about Ian Miller. If you're a Cub fan, let me know. Should I be excited about that poll? Well, you look excited about it because you're getting it. But um, let's see. Ah, holy smokes. Look at this name. Asher Wojciechowski. Yes, I went there. I went there. I kneeled it. Thank you, Asher. Um, Travis Shaw got a rainbow foil for the Reds of Kyle Farmer. 20 years of the captain. A Soto. Got a whole bunch of turkey reds, looks like. Ren Doan. Grandal. Keyboom. Another Jeter. Sixto Sanchez for the Florida Marlins. Or they're the Miami Marlins. Whatever. It's Florida to me. Jose Martinez, a uh, Jairo Diaz, Pete Alonso, um, Yellow Parallel. Come on, let's get, let's get a big rookie. Luis Severino, Matt Davidson, and Jordan Montgomery. So, I mean, let's be honest. You kind of buy the Walgreens ones for the Yellow Parallels, but we got some other good stuff. So we got it's down to – it's not last pack magic because we have two. Um, make sure that, that is everything. Yeah, so we have two hanger boxes of Topps Chrome. Obviously, we could pull a autograph. Let me look at the, I looked it up in one of my earlier videos in the summer, but that, that was like summer. That might as well have been 10 years ago. Let's be honest, I don't know about you, but the uh, the last like year feels like it was a decade. I can't find it. I'm, anyway, I will say this though. Uh, if you've seen Topps Chrome update, well, congratulations to you because I haven't. But second of all, if you've seen Topps Chrome update, the odds of pulling an autograph are filthy. It's like, I didn't realize there's like a hundred cards in the checklist. It's like a hundred. It's, it's very, it's very minimal. It's crazy how, how few cards are in that checklist. Anyway, uh, I just wish there were better cards. I just wish, like Tops, what are you doing, man? I hate to badmouth you, but like, come on, man. Come up with some good rookie cards. The people want good rookies. Well, bye. I feel like uh, update and Chrome update are going to be like in 800 subscription boxes. They're going to be like the elite extra edition for like the next five years. All right. That took me way too long to open up those two hanger boxes. Probably because I'm losing my mind. I'm just going. I'm just going. Anyway, we have all these packs. Look at this. How much bend is already on these packs? Let's just blow through these gallery preview cards. I think it's Jordan Alvarez that's in the gallery and then it's Luis Robert in the fire. There's some long expired um, stuff. Long expired. Yeah, there it is. There's the Jordan. I know. I'm not sure if the National Baseball Card Day Jordan Alvarez rookie card is worth a ton, but I'm sure if you were the one who bought the Astros, you probably want that sleeved up. So you're getting it sleeved up. Got a belly. Trout. Acuna. And a Tatis. I think it is only like a 10 card preview set and uh guess what if you bought the astros i mean it's a spoiler but Ta-da! there's a second jordan alvarez gallery rookie coming your way so congrats to you for that there's that all right and then we got a second belly trout acuna tati and then another expired thing so let's get to the good stuff we have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got 10 packs to possibly pull an auto. Not going to get a relic, I don't think, out of, uh, I think it was rolling hobby. Oh, hello. Hello, my old friend. Whoever got the White Sox, congratulations. Luis Robert, right there. On the back. Right there. Forget about trying to hide it or whatever. We're not doing that. You're getting your Luis Robert and you're getting it sleeved up. Man, I'll tell you, i got to be honest. Beginning of the break, a little rough. Things have been getting progressively better the closer we've gotten to 2020. Jose Ramirez, Alex Young rookie, and a Nicky Lopez. Also, you can't see it, but there's about 2,000 cards off to the side here that I am going to have to sort. So bear with me as uh, I go sort them. Um, so normally I try to get things out the next day, but I might have to wait an extra day. Because I, I got a lot of sorting to do. Manny Machado, Vlad Guerrero Jr., Goldie, and then there's a big one for the Cincinnati Reds. Congratulations. You are, you didn't just get an Aquino rookie. You, my friend, got an Aquino refractor rookie card. Look at that bad boy. For your sake, I hope that Mr. Aristides Aquino, um, has a really good year this year because that could be worth some good cashola. Some cashola. All right. We have a Luis Castillo, Christian Yelich, Giolito, who threw a no hitter, and a AJ Puck. Also, a good name for a hockey goalie, AJ Puck. Makes you wonder was he just not good at hockey or, uh, Never mind. Throwing, hey, Joey the Collector. Uh, as I'm winding down with the last few packs, one more reminder. If you were in the chat window, uh, I, I'm always trying to be welcoming of an environment in my live streams. So if you have a channel, just type in the channel name and go and subscribe to each other and help each other out. And if, of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so because I'm trying to get to 1,000. Nelson Cruz, a Rizzo, Archie Bradley, and a Jesus Lou Zardo. So, yeah. Go subscribe to each other. Subscribe to me. Let's all get to a thousand. That would be great. Let's also pull a Luis Robert autograph because you know I have not pulled one of those yet. I also have not pulled. Um, I have not pulled a Boba Shed autograph either. Um, DJ Lemayhu, Dylan Cease, and DeShished Springer, who's now a Blue Jay, and a Nomar Mazara Refractor Ruski. Refractor Ruski. Tim Howe. Welcome to the break. Just so you know. There is two, count them, two, uh, two streams. The first one, because my internet decided to go, um, there's two streams. So you'll have to go back and look at them or I'll email you. You can email me and I can email you the link. I do apologize. It's raining. There's a big storm. There, let's get back to the important stuff, which is the second Luis Robert rookie card of the Tops Chrome. I'll tell you, things have really heated up since... Um, since we got into 2020, Brendan McKay, rookie card. So the thing about Brendan McKay is I know he didn't pitch, but is he kind of like Shohei? Because it says pitcher DH. So does anyone know, is he is he a good batter? Should I be buying like Brendan McKay cards for the batting side? Um, Warcraft Ohio, thank you for uh, joining. Thank you, Joey. By the way, that giveaway that you had was fantastic. I really do appreciate it. Um, super cool. I mean... Super cool of you. Like I said, go over. Support. Um, don't talk to robots. And Warcraft Ohio. And Joey the Collector. And I don't know if Tim has a channel, but S. Ambush. But if you, Tim does have a channel. RJ ENG. Um, if you're uh, JR Sports Cards. I'm just trying to name people off the top of my head. I forgot. Kyle Seeger, Refractor. Like I said, put your thing in the, um, in the chat and uh, support each other because we only have three packs left. And then we have the recap. But let's be honest, you spent almost two hours with me. So you might be thinking, good lord, spending more time with you than, than my dog. Sorry. Yeah. Here we go. Blake Snow. Got a prism refractor there, but it looks like it's mm, looks like never mind. Oh <gasps> man, I forgot. Who, let me see who has the white sox. Whoever has the white sox is just Gary D. Holy smokes. This is the third Luis Robert I've pulled out of these uh two tops hanger boxes. Man. Congratulations. You got it's like Luis Robert Fever. La Pantera is coming your way. 
uh, Jose Urquidy, and then an Aaron Savali rookie card prism refractor. Tell you, your buddy Logan Allen, he was following me around a lot this year. But anyway, there's an Aaron Savali. Uh, back. I don't know. I sure hope so. Anyway, stick around for the recap. And uh, thank you for joining me, of course, Chris Archer. Wait a minute. What? What? We only got three cards. How dare you, Tops? I'll send this. I'll send this three-hour-long video to you and tell you that you only, you only gave us three cards in that pack. How dare you? Anyway, but those are the three cards that we got in that pack. Ah, I feel gypped. I feel so gypped. All right, last pack, Magic. Can you give me another Elvis Andrews? Come on, man. What kind of collation is that? So we have a Brock Burke and a Jonathan Villar and a David Peralta and then an Elvis Andrews. So not the uh, the most awful. No, I didn't. I don't know what the hell. I only got three cards. I'd be so pissed if I... Oh, anyway. So we're going to do a recap. Let's start with 2020 last. Um, I should probably... I do this off screen if we're going to do that. Um, <clears throat> we did pull some cool stuff. Did you bear with me for one? Hey, you know what? Let's be honest. You bared with me for this long. So, okay. So, let's just start at a random point in the break. Here we go. This is the hit recap. We have a Jose Abreu rookie card from 2014 Donruss. Uh, this gold looking thing from uh, Two Tops 206, Jorge Posada, going all the way back to 1992 with Jeff Kent. Rookie card with the Blue Jays. We have a Kosuke Fuku Dome die cut from 2018 Upper Deck uh, X. Clay Buckholtz, rookie card. A second year uh, rookie of the year, Ryan Braun. For a while, this was the best card. The Anthony Rizzo prospect card with the Red Sox. Can you believe it? Uh, second year uh, rookie gold cup of Jimmy Rollins. Second year of Ichiro. Uh, this is Jared Weaver from Archives. Got a Pat Mahomes. No, not that Pat Mahomes. His father from uh, Donruss. Jim Tomey, rookie. Die cut of Shami Shosha. Scott Rowland, baseball heroes. Um, I sleeved this up because I'm a fool, but this is a facsimile autograph. Um, we have a Ramon Laureano. See, as you can see, um, almost all the other stuff that's coming up is from 2019 or 2020. So I'm glad I included that stuff in the break. Ramon Laureano, rookie. Kopech, rookie. Brandon Lau, rookie, all from the same pack, by the way. All from the same pack. Then we have an Evan Longoria, die cut, rookie from Upper Deck X. Got a star rookie, Kats Kazo Matsui. Matt Laporta, rookie card. A uh, Ryan Ludwig, chrome rookie. Got a Alex Reyes, gold rookie card, 2017. Obviously numbered out of 2017. Vlad, rookie from Update. Paddock, rookie from Update. Tommy Edmond, rookie from Ed Update. Chrome, Update rookie, family business of Vlad Guerrero. Rookie debut of Brendan Rogers. Senzel, rookie from Update. Then we have a different Tommy Edmond from Update. This one has 150 years stamp rookie. We have Aaron Savali Prism Refractor. See that cool shine? Base. Yeah, it is a bit. base rookie card of uh, Chrome. Luis Robert got Brendan McKay rookie card. We have two more Luis Robert insert rookie cards. Aquino rookie refractor. We have two Jordan Alvarez from uh, Topps Baseball Card National Baseball Card Day. We have the Rose Arena. Uh, in a raised uniform from Update, Bo Bichette rookie debut. Got the Kyle Lewis rookie debut. We have uh, Trent Grisham rookie from Bowman. We have this cool for Seattle Mariners Logan Gilbert out of four ninety nine. Bobby Wood Jr. first Bowman paper and a Glenn Allen Hill first Bowman paper. I need some water because uh, I can barely talk anymore. I gotta be honest. I hope that. Uh, you had a good time. I hope that I pulled something good for you. 
Um, I have a stack of probably 2,000 cards that I have to organize into team lots and then uh, pack up for you guys. Either way, I had a fantastic time. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll have more pack openings, uh, more giveaways. I I just ordered like a huge lot of packs off of the bay earlier, so there's probably going to be another break. And uh, I apologize for burping. Man, that was so rude. That was so rude. Anyway, uh, take care of yourself. I hope you had a good time, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.